Hey kids, so I am super excited. It's super exciting Saturday. Um, so if anybody knows me and they've been following my work for donkey's years, um, you know that everything I do is about frequency and vibration. Um, I have a special little something called synesthesia. So after dying in the car accident in 1991, I came back and basically my senses were crisscrossed. And so if I'm around somebody and I touch them, I can hear a brain tumor um, or I can taste or smell um, something that's off in an energy field, you know, like a like an attachment, an entity, or, you know, like spiritual dog poop. Um, and so it's been a really interesting thing to have for the last nearly 30 years. But over the years, I've gotten better and better and better at identifying certain frequencies and sounds. So like I could touch um, somebody with heart issues and it's going to have a certain tone or somebody who's got um, depression issues or... Um, whatever, you name it. So over the years, I've been working with genius Greg Papagna, who's the founder of Signs Music, and he's been able to take these crazy pitches that come into my head and integrate them into the most incredible music that he creates. And so we've been using this stuff to, to help people to empower themselves and to find their own healing over the years, and it's just extraordinary. Um, so uh, you knew it was coming. Uh, I wondered why circumstances um, put me back in my office full-time. Like, I haven't been full-time chiropractor in a really long time. And I'm like, dude, I'm 52 now. And, you know, and people are hanging out the doors. And it's great. And it's, good. it's great to be back and to be doing this. But physically, it's interesting. You know, I'm, I'm hanging in there and doing quite well. But um, I was like, why? Why is this happening? And so it's been really fascinating because all of a sudden I figured it out. Because over the last, um, gosh, since last year, um, the, the people coming in that have been either exposed to or had um, COVID, um, and now all the people who are going in and who are getting the vaccination, again, I'm hearing all these pitches, 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 and then you start honing in and they start becoming consistent. And so what I've been doing here is fine-tuning the frequency of the actual creation of COVID. And I'm not going to get into with you uh, about who I think created this or how I think it came to pass. It just is what it is now, isn't it just? And it's a part of all of our lives, whether we like it or not, wherever it came from. And so the interesting thing, though, is that like this... The universe doesn't ever send us anything that doesn't have a solution. Um, there's always a cause and an effect. And so um, it turns out that I've been in here all of this time, pitching and toning and pitching and toning, and finally came into a point where I was able to pinpoint to the point dot, dot, dot decimals of the hertz that is connected to the frequency of the COVID virus and the vaccine. Um, so why is this important? Because the very same way that I bring somebody into my office who let's say has cancer and I'm running a 528 Hertz through their body in order to remind the body of what healthy DNA sounds like, um, or I'm taking them from an emotional state of, of fear and angst, um, and grief and guilt at 396 Hertz. Um, how does that work? Well, Put it this way, it's, you know, it's acoustics and physics, guys. If I have two guitars in a room and I pluck the E string on one guitar, guess what's going to vibrate on the other guitar? The E string. So when you expose something to its its mirror image, it's like um, it, uh, frequency homeopathy. When you expose it, if it's if the body is ready to get rid of it, if the body has finished using it um, in, in the journey of the soul, um, if it's kind of hanging about and now causing trouble when it doesn't need to be there any, any longer, lesson learned, check it off, move on, build a bridge. What frequency can do is go in and kind of empty the bins on a cellular level. It's just so amazing. Um, so yeah, it's been pretty cool all these years having those crisscross senses. Um, now anyone who works in my office will tell you I walk in, I'm like, oh my God, what's that smell? And it drives them crazy because I'm the only one who can smell it because it might be um, somebody who has been recreationally using a substance and opened the door to the pineal gland and some little nasty has attached itself and it has an odor and that odor has a frequency. Um, yeah, it's really fun being me. But anyway, long story short, here we go. We've isolated the COVID frequency and because I love you all and um, I just think that this is so incredible that we have the opportunity now to share this around. 
It is available on my website, maryhelenhensley.com for F-R-E-E, -E, and that's free because we're not gonna make money off of people's fear and terror and the hardship that we're going through with this. Um, now, you're welcome to go around and glance around the website and look and see if there's anything like any one of my books that you're interested in and you wanna share with a friend. That would mean the world to me. Do you know, rather than um, trying to make money off of isolating a frequency that's gonna serve us all in this manner, um, just go around, you know, buy a book for a friend or something. The COVID frequency and um, and its uses, it's there. It runs for 33.33 minutes. Um, how do you use it? You just listen to it. How does the brain work? It runs on a cycle of about three weeks to 28 days where it takes that long to blow up a neural pathway. So we've all got our own attachments. There are some people who are having the time of their lives, like moi, with the pandemic. There are other people who are absolutely terrified. There are other people who's, you know, they should have been getting married today, or there are other people who have lost a loved one. Um, it's affected all of us in different ways. And so it's really, really important um, that you recognize that there's an emotional attachment to it, whether you like it or not, for all of us. So by listening to that frequency embedded in some beautiful music that Greg created for me, um, what you're doing is you're exposing the, the body and your own frequency levels to this to this tone and instead of patching over the feelings and the fears and the and the you know the trepidation about the future and all what you're doing is you're going in and you're blowing up the neural pathways associated with those feelings um, so rather than filling in potholes and being able to travel the same road back to that angst you're coming in with a big fat stick of dynamite and you're blowing the mother up, okay? And what does that make you do? In present time, based on your current understanding of what's happening in the world, whatever that is right now, you're able to rebuild and reshape and reform and reconstruct new neural pathways in your brain. Yeah, it's awesome. So anyway, there you go. Uh, MaryHelenHensley.com. You're going to see it. Beautiful piece of art. Thank you to my, um, my web guru, Phil. Um, it's there, guys. Have at it. Go have a have a ball. It's downloadable to your device, and it is there for you. So, uh, peace out. Gotcha.